Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the show. We are uh, on the road already for a little bit. Basically, before I even got going, I already had a phone call, so I uh, was on the phone until now for a little while. I uh, went down the road a few miles to a Love's truck stop. I just like fueling at the Love's. I like their point system better than uh, some of these other truck outfits, you know, trucking uh, fuel stations. So, so yeah, here we are. It is another gorgeous, gorgeous day today, guys. It really is. But hey, we got another 620 miles, according to RJ, to make it home. So uh, we got our work cut out if we want to actually make it home tonight. But we'll see. We might be able to do it. We'll see. I calculated it out last night. I had exactly 600 miles to make it to the border. So that is generally not a problem. We can easily do 600 miles. And then after that, we gain another... Uh, another uh, two hours right looks like we should be uh, no I'm not gonna not gonna try that there's a farm tractor coming up I don't know which way he wants to go well he wants to go here so I could have been okay you can't see right he's got no single light right <laughs> but yeah here we go let's get back onto this uh, US 61 or whatever it's called. Uh, no, 281. We're already on the 281. I forgot. Turn they're by uh, by Waterloo. You usually change over to the 281. It's no longer uh, the 61, right? But I forgot about that. Oh well. Regardless, we'll be back on the 281 here and uh, hammer down again, right? A couple of four wheelers coming, so we don't want to cut them off. Oh, well, there we go. That uh, that guy wants to turn off, but there's another guy behind him. Oh, he wants to turn off too. All right, that's awesome. Double check. Always double check, right? Make sure that nobody is coming, right? <laughs> that's right. But yeah, I love the nice sunshine. I'm hoping it's going to be like this all weekend long too. Because I still haven't told you guys what we got planned for the weekend. I'm not going to tell you until it is weekend, right? You're going to have to keep on watching to see what it is. What we got planned, what we got up our sleeves. I'm sure some of you guys can probably figure it out, but hey. You won't know for sure until I tell you, right? You only know what I tell you. <laughs> that's an only for sure thing. When I tell you, that's a for sure thing, right? But anyhow, that's hammer down and uh, get on uh, up the road. You see, it's going up, up the road. <laughs> yeah that's right looks like we got 30 more miles to go and then we'll uh, be on the uh, i-35 heading to Minneapolis. yeah i ran out of windshield washer fluid guys so i had to pull into this uh flying j up here just before uh, minneapolis I decided to go ahead and go in here, clean my windshield again because it was getting really dirty again. And I completely ran out of windshield washer fluid. I didn't even have anything in my truck, otherwise I could have pulled into the rest area, right? <clears throat> and cleaned it there and filled it up, but I completely ran out, so I had to go in here and get me some more windshield washer fluid. Now we got that. We got a nice clean windshield in again. Feet, turn left out. I really do. West, and then left. Nineteen. Why left there, RJ? We're supposed to be going right. To go to the interstate at least. <laughs> Where do you want me to go now? You want to get me in trouble or lost? I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm going to have to go right. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh, I went and got me a bottle of uh, windshield washer fluid and uh, then I still had a gallon of water, just regular water. And so I decided, you know what, instead of buying two gallons, I'm just going to buy one gallon. And then I put one gallon of regular water in here. In 800 feet, and then the uh, to the left on I-35. What I usually end up doing is uh, I put a, like in summer, I, I used to do this every summer anyways. 
I put a drop or two of Dawn dishwasher detergent soap into the uh, windshield washer fluid. It just seems to help a lot easier to uh, clean the windshield better. And also, I went ahead and just did that. I cleaned, uh, cleaned it all up. Put in my uh, one gallon of actual windshield washer fluid and then my one gallon of uh, of regular water and put a couple of drops of uh, dishwasher detergent in there and we're back in business. I think that seems to work better than if you buy some of this uh, windshield washer fluid that has this what's so called bug remover and all of that. It does work up to a certain extent with that too but I still think that that dishwasher detergent works better than anything else that I've come across yet so Continue on this <clears throat> we're going to start doing miles. that again and I realize my dishwasher detergent <clears throat> little can that I have there is almost empty so I only got maybe one or two times more and and I'll be out so I might have to get me a new little can I don't get a big one it's just a little one you know because uh, I don't really need it much a little bit of cleaning that I do in the truck doesn't need much, right? A couple of drops in the container there doesn't, you know, you can go, you can go a couple of years with a little container like that just by using a couple of drops here and there, right? But yeah, so we got about 18 miles till we will be hitting the uh, split for uh, for the I-35 and all of that, where the I-35 and the I-35W split. So we'll be there in Minneapolis very, very soon. Yeah. Now it's looking like something that we had planned for the weekend might fall apart. We'll see. Um. Well, I'm I'm going to listen and see what you know, play it by ear, see what happens. But it sounds like it might actually fall apart, which would really, really suck. But. I'm gonna tell you about it later once I find out a little bit more. The wife said she's going to be, uh, you know, doing some research and she's gonna let me know here after lunch. So we'll find out. We'll find out. And once I know, I'll be able to tell you more. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and keep that left door closed. And we're still gonna to attempt to try and make it home tonight. Although I, I did the calculation, it will probably be fairly late. And, uh, I'll probably make me a pit stop in Fargo, go to my favorite restaurant there, the Mexican place, have me supper over there, have me a bite to eat over here. I, I know I didn't show you guys, but I did. And so we'll have me a bite to eat over there and then make it into Winnipeg, drop the trailer and Bob Taylor home because then I can use personal time uh, using going home, right? As long as it's less than 75 kilometers a day, I can do it. Which, you know, it's a little over 74 kilometers, 75, but I just go about five, six kilometers out of Winnipeg or, you know, from the terminal away. And then I got less than 74, so then I just, whatever, pull over or come to a traffic light. And just quickly change it to personal use and we're good to go. As you guys can see, it is starting to look pretty nice over here as well. We have made it past Minneapolis now was no problem getting across Minneapolis yes indeed but so far I haven't quite figured out exactly if our thing is going to work that we're gotten planned here for the weekend or not but whatever we'll figure it out eventually but now uh, we got 147 miles to go to Fargo hey there's another penner going the other way and so we'll be uh, We'll be in Fargo probably, I would say, in about two and three quarter hours, I would say. Well, yeah, that's where we will be making ourselves a little bit of a pit stop and have me some supper over there at the Mexican place that I like to eat at. But I really enjoy it that we have nice sunny day, right? I really, really enjoy that. I hope it stays like that all weekend long. Just coming into Fargo, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are already in North Dakota. Guess what's going to happen next? We are very, very close to getting to our Mexican place. Yeah, I'm excited. 
can't wait to go in there and have me some good supper this is exit 65 highway 10 that's the one that we got to go down at and I don't even have to set my GPS anymore I know very very well on how to get there so yeah that's what we're gonna do gonna go in there and have us some good Mexican food I'm looking forward to that I'm telling you I know I've been going there quite a bit lately but you know every once in a while maybe once once on a trip or something like that is okay in my opinion and I've been eating in the truck quite a bit right so uh, spoil yourself once in a while is okay in my opinion <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure you guys are the same way, right? Most of the time, you know, once in a while you like to go and into a restaurant and have yourself a good supper somewhere or lunch or whatever, right? Let's slow her down. We're taking exit here up to Highway 10. I'm going to try and get there. and Hopefully it's not going to be as busy as it was there uh, the other day. When I went in there, man, that thing was full. But that was around lunchtime, right? So, and that was on a Friday. Today is Wednesday, so we should be okay, hopefully. Here we go, guys, we have made it. Yes, it is very, very windy. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys are not hearing all the wind. That's why I went and got my mic, because I wanted to see, uh, go see if this restaurant is open. I, uh, when I came by here, you know, like I have to kind of like go around that way and then come through here and then go park over there, right? So I'm thinking, I'm looking at the sign there and it doesn't say open and it looks kind of dark. So I really hope that they are open though. So let's go find out, shall we? Well, it looks like it was my lucky day. They were open. They just forgot to sw hit the switch, I guess. But yeah, thank you. So let's have a look and see what we're having, guys. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, that looks fantastic, isn't it? Oh yeah. I'm telling you, my supper is really, really going to be good tonight. So let's have it before it gets cold and let's hit the road again. I'm telling you guys, that was delicious. Oh man. Now I got to drive yet a little ways, but hey, that's okay. I enjoy the nice sunshine. Am I, I was just glad that they were open and uh, we switched it on and I just walked by it now and I guess that open <clears throat> sign is broken it's not working anymore so I guess they're gonna have to figure that one out on their own but anyways I'm gonna go and uh, hit the road again oh man I'm telling you guys after we got out of Fargo there had that good supper I just sat back and relaxed there for a little good while and uh, now we're getting very very close to the border guys we really are we're only about uh, I would say seven miles away from getting to the border there's a few other penners going south and guess what it's doing now it's starting to rain this is what I've been saying pretty much guaranteed almost every single May long weekend here in Canada it rains on the May long weekend and it appears it's not going to be any difference although I did check the weather earlier there's only a very slight chance for rain over the actual weekend now we gotta remember it's only Wednesday today but yeah it's starting to rain again oh well we had a little bit of an open patch there and then you can't see it on camera but there to the left of me it's pretty dark over there and it's a little bit darker there to the right as you guys see so we might be getting pounded here pretty good here in a little bit who knows but in the meanwhile we're almost at the border we got six more miles according to my GPS and we'll be back in Canada get that extra two hours that we need and then uh, I got a message from dispatch that it's okay for me to uh, drop this load in Winnipeg so at the yard so that's awesome so I'll be uh, I should Stay be able to right make on. it home tonight I have not gotten any request to bring a trailer home so that's good so we can uh, use that personal time going home 
That'll be a little bit later tonight by the time I get home, but we shall be home tonight. That's the goal anyways. All of a sudden, guys, the heavens have opened, and I don't know if you guys can see it even, but there is very, very, very strong winds. I bet you that's close to 60 mile an hour wind right there. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you guys, that just all of a sudden came on really, really super strong. Feels like it's starting to slow down now though. But there for a little while, holy moly, that was strong. I saw the super dark clouds coming up too and I'm like, whoa, look at this here. You guys see that, how that rain is going straight across? That is crazy, crazy. Hopefully they don't get too strong and we tip over. That would be dangerous. That would not be fun, I'm telling you guys. I have even slowed down and everything. I'm only doing 30 miles an hour right now. Yeah, that is coming down fast. Look at that right there to the right, guys. We have a beautiful, beautiful rainbow right there. We actually managed to get through that heavy, heavy wind and rain. Now it's definitely slowed down and the sun is almost shining through over there, but yeah, I just thought I gotta show you guys that beautiful, beautiful rainbow up there. I don't know how good it's actually gonna come through on the actual video, but we're gonna try and show you guys anyways, right? I know it's only in the corner of the screen there on the right hand side, but that's all I can do, right? Well, the sun is about ready to go down over there. And we just got to our yard, so let's go ahead and drop this rascal over here. What do you guys think? I think it's a good time to do that. So let's go ahead and take my glad hands off and get this business taken care of. Here we go, guys. Just as easy as that. There you go. Pull the cord out. Hang everything up nicely over here. So, let's go ahead and lower the landing gear. Here we go, guys, let's do this. We gotta lower the landing gear here. Oh, there we go. Hopefully you guys can actually see me. Lower the landing gear and then we're out of here. Yeah, that sun is almost gone down already, but... Oh well. I knew we were gonna be home late, right? Better late than never, right? That's what I always say. Here we go. So, all that we have left to do now is go ahead and pull the pin and we're out of here. That's it, guys. We just finished dropping our trailer. Look at that beautiful sunset that we have over there. That sun has almost disappeared on us. Yeah, they got the street under construction that we got our terminal on, so uh, I didn't know when, uh, when I got to the corner there where I'm supposed to turn right, it looks like it's, it's blocked off meters. completely, right so I wasn't horrible. sure. RDE I went around the block and uh, finally figured out that it's just a one way, so <laughs> took me a little while to figure all of that out. So now I have to leave a little different way because it's all one way, right? But that's okay. In 300 meters. Turn right on. We got her all done. And RDE 25. I still have 43 minutes of drive time available, so we're going to go ahead and get out of the city a little bit. And then we're going to switch over to uh, personal use driving because from here it's just a little touch too far. I can't make it far enough, so uh, yeah. If I drove from here personal use, I would be in the last couple of kilometers on my way home. It would switch me over to regular drive time, so I don't want to do that. So I figure I go down the down the road a couple of kilometers and then we'll take care of that, right? But yeah, you guys should be able to see that right here at this traffic light. Right there is all them meters. construction uh, cones Take right the there. Street. And it almost looks 80. like it's blocked off, right? From here it looks like it's blocked off our way, right? Or going in there, right? But then when I looked on the other end, it's actually just the way they have it designed. But yeah, it's kind of weird, but... So yeah, uh, it uh, took me a little while to figure that out, but whatever. 
That's just how it goes. In 300 meters, turn left on McPhillips Street. I know, RJ, I know. You're going to try and tell me which way to go, which is nice, but don't you have to, you know, quiet her down a little bit, you know? We, we're trying to talk here, man, trying to make a video here. Don't you think it would be important to quiet for be a bit? So I can make a good show here, right? Oh, look at that. We got the green arrow right away. Awesome. I like that. Yeah, we got a few kilometers, a bunch of traffic lights, lights before we are out of town, but yeah. So, we got 76 kilometers, and uh, so I basically have to do another two kilometers before I can go off duty driving. Well for six kilometers. Yeah, six kilometers up to the perimeter, so hopefully we hit a red light here in a couple of kilometers and then uh, we can just quickly switch her over to personal use. 